Please welcome on stage, he's the last act this evening, the one and only Little Johnny Emmett. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Eyes up here, guys. I don't want anyone looking at my tits. <laughs> Not a piece of meat. <laughs> In these times of austerity, I'd just like to share a little tip with you. Poundland don't sell bargains for a pound. They sell shite for a pound. <laughs> Which is how I ended up with my laughter-activated suicide vest. Now, it didn't come with instructions, so I don't know whether it's too much or too little laughter that it's sensitive to. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out together. <laughs> I've put on a lot of weight recently, I don't know why. Spent hours sat on my arse with a box of Krispy Kreme trying to work it out. <laughs> don't, of course, benefits to being fat. If I run through a bus, nobody gets in my way, and if they go, fuck them, they bounce off. <laughs> Fat people roll downhill, much better than skinny people. They're also statistically much harder to kidnap. <laughs> but best of all, I can eat what I fucking like because I'm fat already. <laughs> no, it's not all roses being fat with drawbacks. Heart disease. Strokes. Diabetes, cancer, an expulsion from the school potholing club. <laughs> Four days I was stuck in Abilene's hole. <laughs> Head fucking first. No, I would have had enough of the fat life of actually being approved for weight loss surgery. I'm going to have a stomach bypass. It's going to go straight from my mouth to my arsehole. <laughs> I had a meeting with my surgeon and he's, he told me that, you know, it's not without risk. There's a one in a hundred chance that I could die during the operation. My missus was fucking devastated. Someone I told her it was one in fifty. <laughs> Can you believe that my mum let me get all these tattoos? <laughs> At 43, I'd almost given up asking. <laughs> it's all fucking downhill for me. My missus got made redundant on Friday. Can't wait to spend all that time with her. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I found out recently that I'm adopted. I will, thank you. Abandoned as a baby. Well, that's where you were meant to go, are you? <laughs> <laughs> but, but thank you anyway. The um, human equivalent of a Battersea dog. It explains me behaving as a kid, pissing on the carpet and chewing the sofa. <laughs> we were watching Master Chef this afternoon before they came out, and they had an army chef on there just back from Afghanistan, and he was doing a galette de <laughs> The little ball presenter, you know, he fixes him with his steely gaze and, and tells him, Cooking doesn't get any tougher than this. I'm not an expert, but surely knocking up a spaghetti bolognese with the Taliban trying to blow your fucking legs off has got to come pretty close. <laughs> See, Prince William was, uh, was posted to the Falklands. How many fucking stamps did that take? <laughs> I used to be in the army. There's no better life for a healthy young man. Intent on killing people. <laughs> I loved all the kit. I had all the camouflage stuff. Well, I think I did. I never fucking found it. <laughs> I was a paratrooper, jumping out of planes and that. That's a fucking transferable skill for you, isn't it? <laughs> Turn up for an interview and they ask you, what makes you the man for us? I can jump off things! Disguise myself as a bush and fucking shoot people! <laughs> Actually, that worked when I went for an interview with the police. <laughs> yeah. 
they let me join. It was the shooting people bit that they liked. <laughs> no, but don't worry, I'm not a copper anymore. I left under a cloud. Or two. Or three, to be honest. Apparently the helmet isn't shaped the way that it is to help with your shoplifting. <laughs> and drink driving isn't acceptable even if you do go to the trouble of putting the lights and sirens on before driving your van through the kebab shop window. <laughs> and apparently not all nurses enjoy sex with policemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. did, I, did I tell you why I joined the army? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, no, I joined to prove to me dad that I wasn't gay. In retrospect, it would have been a whole lot less of a faff just to have given up ballet and stopped holding hands with Jeremy from next door. <laughs> Guys, you've been absolutely fantastic. I'm Johnny Emma. Thank you. <laughs>